How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with a little bit of long live up in this piece in the form of their 4.5% anniversary. There's no percent there. It's 4.5 anniversary. But once I say that point in a number, it, the, the word percent just tumbles out of my mouth. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is a uh, double IPA uh, from Long Live. Comes courtesy of my boy, Steven. Thank you very much, brother. And uh, yeah, that'd be that. It's a part of their anniversary beer. Like I said, 45 it's a weird way to do the anniversary, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and it's really weird if you think about it, because this was canned, like, two two and change weeks ago. And it's four, four and a half year anniversary. Maybe that's a kind of a thing for them, to where they do, like, a half year anniversary and they always do it. But you'd be like, okay, let's do a half year anniversary party in the middle of a pandemic. I don't know, it's just weird. Um, but, hey, you do you. Long live. You do you. And uh, we'll see what's what. So, I've had my ins and outs with Long Live, right? I dig some of their stuff. Some of the stuff was just okay. Nothing bad. But we'll see how this goes. Label-wise, I do not like this label. I do not like it at all. <laughs> Only because I can't find... I can't... Maybe it's my geriatric eyes, but I can't read anything on this label. There's too much going on. Um, you know, I couldn't even find the actual, like, um, double IPA version of the beer, the ABV or anything like that, because everything's just kind of jumbled together. Grandpa talking, get out the way. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's a hazy beer, but it's dark. It's a little bit darker than what you come to expect from an 8% kind of hazy. Looks more like that kind of slightly malt forward kind of triple IPA kind of darkness. Pinky finger, uh, just south of khaki colored head. Yeah, she looks to part a big old beer. Let's get a nose. Ooh. What's going on? Hey there. Okay. So, I have this kind of latex paint acetone thing going on. I think I've gotten this before from Long Live. On top of this citrus thing. It could be a combination of, of uh, carbonic acid and just the beer being a little bit hot or something. But I get this kind of acetone latex paint thing on it. Yeah, and it's pretty vibrant. And then there's this kind of peachy citrus thing on the other end of things, but it's really that kind of acetone latex paint combination that really... And it's not as caustic as that sounds. It's not like I'm smelling it and like it's burning my nostrils, but it's it's definitely that kind of, uh, kind of chemical. It's some more sideways of medicinal kind of heat combination thing that's kind of not my favorite nose in the world. And like I said, I think I've gotten that before, before um, from Long Life stuff. I don't know if anybody remembers refresh me but i'm just gonna dive in see what the taste has cheers yeah that is very much what latex paint i would imagine latex paint would taste like if you dry hop latex paint i mean that's exactly what i because obviously I have never drinking, drinking. I have never ingested, let's go there, uh, latex paint. But we've all smelt it. We've all painted a room before. And it has that kind of specific kind of nose to it. And it's exactly what I'm tasting here. Now, what is that as far as off flavor? I don't know. I think it's a hop. I don't know what hops they put in here, but I think it's... And it's and this is going to be a stretch for some of you guys, but I assure you, I believe it exists. I think it's the way the hops coming off. I think it's how that it's dry hopped. I think it's the kind of hops that were used. Because I can do a six degrees of Kevin Bacon and get from latex paint to like a peachy tropical fruit hop, and I think I can make that argument and make it make sense. And, but I think the way it's cutting off and almost think, think of hot green. Okay, you know, you get a beer that's a little bit too green, a little bit too aggressively hot. And it's too green. You got to wait for it to kind of die off. But it's usually that's like hot burn. Just imagine that as more of like a rich, like hot, like, man, I'm not going to explain this well enough to where I want it to be. But it's almost like that, but instead of green, it's more of like a citric acid thing that comes off slightly acetony that makes me think of latex paint. If that kind of makes any sense. Probably not. 
it's not, and that's the thing. I'm, everything I'm explaining here is like caustic chemicals that can like, if you ingested them, you would die. So that's not what's happening. I'm drinking it. Obviously, I'm not afraid of it. It's not disgusting. I'm not making fucking funny faces. I don't think there's really a beer that would make make a funny face. I'm sure there's one, uh, but I couldn't think of it. But um, it's harsh. It's harsh. And just the way it kind of comes off, it reminds me. It's a better way to put it of latex paint. And and since it's so readily apparent in the nose and follows through into the taste, and I, it's there. It's not like it doesn't exist. It's very hard for me to remove myself from that thought process. We can try, though. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a version of green in that citrus. Or that peachiness, that stone fruitiness. It's just a combination, just exactly the way it lays. It's just reminding me of that. And once you get stuck there, it's hard to get removed. You know, unfortunately. Yeah. I could see people really, really, really liking this beer. And that's the thing about it. I, I, I can see someone going into this and that flavor profile not reminding them of that negative thing and enjoying it for its impact and what it's giving them. But for me, and that's what this channel is, is me talking about what I like. There's no grades here. I'm not, you know, other than me saying I like it a lot or not for me. Outside of off flavor, I really just kind of leave it up to you guys to interpret what's what. And I don't believe this is an off flavor. I think it's a combination of the way the hops work with the malt. Unless there's something else added to this that, they, that they're not saying, like, I could see this coming off, like, if they added, like, like peach and mango, and they didn't peel all the mango skins off of it. I could see that being a thing here. It's an anniversary beer, but they don't call it really anything. They don't say double IPA. No, they do on the bottom here, because I can't find half the shit. So if it's a core four beer, then it's just the way the hops come off. If not, it's an addition of some kind of fruit, but I even, I honestly would bet that this is a, uh, this is a core four beer, you know? So it is what it is. So, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Let's talk about it. Is this one of the better double IPAs I've had as a lead? No. Value availability. No idea. Steven, let me know what's what and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you don't have any experience with like text paint, I, I don't know. It's a weird thing. I don't even know what to say because, like I said, I could absolutely a thousand percent understand a, not just one or two people, like a decent amount of people who know good beer, who enjoy good beer, drinking this and enjoying it. I think it's more of a me fault here than the beer fault thing. Um, it's a weird thing to say because I think I've never said that before. I think it's either been like, oh, I don't like it or this, that, and the other thing and whatever. But I think this beer actually could be a really good beer. It's just not for me. Sometimes that happens. So if you like what? Will you like this? If you don't like me, you'll like this. So there you go. Uh, hopefully, guys, and I know a lot of people hate me. Watch this. So there you go. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review uh, down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully, you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully, you're enjoying a little long live right now. And hopefully, see you next time. Cheers.